Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem, solve d cube minus d square minus 6d into y equals to 0. Solution, given differential equation. d cube minus d square plus sorry minus 6d into y equals to 0 which is an operator form f of d into y equals to 0 where f of d equals to d cube minus d square minus 6d. Just by comparing these two equations, we will get f of d. Right. So, here you are having equation d cube minus d square minus 6d into y. Right. So, how we can write this? We can write this as d cube y minus d square y minus 6d y equals to 0. I can just write this as d cube y by dx cube minus d square y by dx square minus 6 into dy by dx. So here, d cube y by dx cube is our highest derivative. So the order of the given equation is 3. And the degree of the given equation is power of the highest derivative is our degree. Now, we will find the general solution to the given equation using auxiliary equation. We know that the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to replace d by m in f of d then you'll get f of m that is m cube minus m square minus 6m then our auxiliary equation will be m cube minus m square minus 6m equals to 0 now take m common from all these three terms you'll get m times m square minus m minus 6 equals to 0 now Consider this polynomial m square minus m minus 6. Now factors the polynomial to find the factors. We will get, we can write minus m as minus 3m plus 2m minus 6 is equal to take m common from the first two terms. We will get m times m minus 3 and take 2 common from the next two terms. We will get 2 times m minus 3 right so m minus 3 exists in both the terms so take m minus 3 common from these two terms then you'll get m minus 3 times m plus 2 right so you can write the above equation as m into factors of this polynomial m minus 3 into m plus 2 equals to 0. Equate m to 0, m minus 3 to 0, m plus 2 0. Okay. m plus 2 equals to 0. From this we will get roots m equals to 0 m equals to if minus 3 goes to rhs you will get m equals to 3 and m equals to if plus 2 goes to rhs you will get m equals to minus 2 so here m equals to 0 3 minus 2 are the roots
therefore m equals to 0, 3, minus 2 are the roots of auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0. That is this equation, right? So, observe the roots, you are having 0, 3 and minus 2 which are distinct and also real. So, here therefore the roots are real and distinct. So, our general solution will be if the roots m1, m2, m3 so on mn are real and distinct then our solution will be c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x plus c3 e power m3x plus so on plus cn e power mn x since we are having one two three three roots right consider any one of these three as m1 m2 and m3 I consider 0 as m1 and 3 as m2 and minus 2 as m3. Then the general solution will be y equals to c1 e power m1 into x plus c2 e power m2 3 into x plus c3 e power m3 minus 2 into x. From this I will get y equals to c1 e power 0 into x is 0 plus c2 e power 3 into x 3x plus c3 e power minus 2x. Right? Then y equals to c1 e power 0 is 1. Right? Then you will get c1 plus c2 e power 3x plus c3 e power minus 2x which is the required general solution to the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see in the next video. Until then, bye bye.